Okay guys, this is day, I think three or four. Um, I've set up with some plants, uh, got this off eBay for about eight quid. Also got a Biopower by Eheim, I don't know if you can see it in the corner there. Gonna use that. It's got the sprinkler or spray bar attachment I should say. Um, not very powerful to be fair, but this is only the 200 litre one. Don't see how it does 200 litres. Um, we'll be updating that, I've got some spares for that, so I'll be doing a little bit of a review and an update on that, so that would be cool to see. Um, planted the swords, um, and there's some Anubis, I don't know if you can see that on the on the uh, thing in the middle. There are some plastic plants on there, but they're going to be used and replaced with hopefully some Anubis um, if it grows. Um, I don't know if you can see that there. Also got one of my fern, this is the lotus at the back there. Um, I've dosed it with some uh, flu valve cycle that's to kick start these I've got both of these going at the moment and I've also um, put some uh, liquid tabs in they're quite an unusual one um, they're Chinese and they're half tablet half full and when you put them in they mix so that should be quite cool quite liking the look of the tank at the moment you know the stuff at the back um, I've got some other little stuff that's coming on here, these little plants here. Um, I got these off a guy that was basically doing it, so I treated them first, cleaned them all up. Um, the flow seems okay, but it's nothing special. Um, this stuff I'm going to be trying out. Oh, you can't really see that. There you go, Fluval Cycle. I'm actually in a dark room at the moment, it's quite late at night. Just wanted to get this in all its glory. Um, I've got the E-Iron pickup and the E-Iron. I do believe that E-Iron do make the best filters, in my opinion. Uh, certainly the most quiet and the most, I think that's a 6 watt and I think the other one's a 10 watt. So um, I will be taking some of the substrate out of there purely so I can get the other container on it. Um, you can actually buy sections. Um, I've got another section here, as you can see. Um, so I will be doing a review on this. I wanted to test it first, make sure it was suitable for this. Um, still need suggestions on what you want in the tank to see. Uh, so it's 100 litres, 80 centimetres. Oh, I changed the, I changed up the um, heater as well. The heater that was in there, the little one, not very good. Um, I also got a new um, glass cleaner by Flipper. Very expensive actually, but it does look good. I'm going to be doing a little review on that. So watch this space, there's some stuff coming. Um, EI air pump as well. Um, I got the, the first version, which is basically, um, I think it's called series one, which is 100 liters um, output. The one that's on there at the moment on the big tank, as you know, is a 400. The one in the shrimp tanks are 200, so you can hardly hear them. So um, the next step, for the aquariums I've got here is I'm gonna get some more shrimp I'm gonna sort of mix up the colors a little bit but that's not for this tank I'm gonna take some of the cichlids out of the other tank they're going I do believe this one here is gonna probably be for um, something different Shelley's I've been hearing about we'll see about them but I'm gonna let it mature a little bit obviously it's still early days in the cycle I did take um, in the hem it's got some of the um, Substrat Pro, the E-Line, which comes with the kit. Um, I've actually taken some out of the other tank. My um, shrim tank has it in, as you know. Of course, I've got Bio Home Ultimate and Bio Gravel, so I've put that in the other two. When I get in the other section, we're going to sort of mix it up a bit as well in there. Everything looks good. Um, it never went misty. I'm hoping it goes misty soon. Um, as you know, people say, oh, Misty, it's good. It's a bacterial bloom, which is what I want. I want there to be lots of bacteria in there. Um, I also got, I think it's called um, an APS Skim 300 from All Pond Solutions. Very cheaply made, I've got to be honest, but it does the job, so I don't really care, um, which is in the big tank. I'm going to do on Monday and Tuesday when I do the water changes. Um, I shall be sort of doing a little top up of 
information on here so you can have a look this I'm quite happy with is these bio balls uh, bio power sorry they are very cool you can basically angle them any way you want the fitting on the back is very simple you won't be able to see it oh you might be able there you go you can see that that comes off really easy um, so we're going to be doing something on that I mean the tank is looking okay not too shabby at the moment obviously we've got to see time tells with any tank you know that um, but yeah if you've got any ideas guys I'm open to suggestions what you want to see in here um, we'll see you have a good weekend guys see you soon hi guys Alan here all right just checking out the new tank we've set up as you can see there's quite a lot of film now on the service this is quite normal um, when a tank goes misty that's quite normal generally mist in a tank is brought on by algae blooms or disturbing something um, I'm liking this although I will be changing the direction of that I want to flow it that way the film on there is actually telling me that there's not a lot of I mean there is motion as you can see there's motion going on but I need it to be a bit more proactive tanks looking all right as you can see now someone's asked me about um, surface skimmers uh, generally I use the Eheim version of the surface skimmer which is that there uh, this thing here and I'm going to show you what that can do for skimming the water in just one second I will say it is very expensive for what it is and you can get a far cheaper version Superfish do one all pond solutions do one which is basically the same one um, which is just it's under 10 pounds sterling so in fact I do believe I've got one here um, give me a second I will have a quick look so let's turn it on there you go it's now working you will get some aeration come out of that as you can see it's drawing in all of that surface stuff now all the skimmers will do the same sort of job um, but as I say I'm testing out the Eheim version just to make sure and when this builds up again I'll be testing the all pond solutions or superfish one which are basically the same and we'll give that a few minutes see how that breaks up as you can see it's still drawing tons of that in normally if you get dust <coughs> excuse me from I don't know changing your substrate out or adding plants you can get that um, oh and by the way with plants always take the rock wall off um, that's like the the stuff that they actually grow. It's, it's not good. It, it can rot the stuff. Here we go. Look, it's starting to break up now. So I reckon, going by that, I reckon 15 minutes, and you shouldn't have any problems at all. Um, this filter's coming out today. It's done its job. Um, ideally, you want to leave your tank cycling for about a month. Um, obviously, test your water each time uh, I would say every sort of two or three days I generally dose ammonia um, every four days depending on that so about four parts per million um, but yeah it seems that I mean look you can see it's actually reducing it straight away um, still pulling it in it's very clean there now you, know, you get the idea I mean we will get diatoms um, which is the brown stuff okay well, we'll see you in a bit, and we'll see how this gets on. Okay, as you can see, perfectly clear. Um, I did adjust that bar just to give you an idea of the flow. Uh, this is the 200. I believe there's a 160 and a 240. The 240 is coming. Um, I like to double the filtration in the tank, so um, I believe that all the filters uh, on the market basically... Um, double what they're saying so if you've got something that says can do tanks of a thousand litres um, you've got to halve that straight away um, because of the way they do it with the flow rates and that being meaderless and 
different heights. Okay, in my opinion, this is probably the best bioreactive filter you can have internally. And what I mean by bioreactive, it has sponge and it has biomedia. In this case, I've put um, Richard's bio gravel in there. Fantastic stuff. Um, it's a scented glass media. Um, yeah, it is expensive, but it lasts forever. So I'm um, going to turn that off now. I don't need that on anymore. Uh, so yeah, there's the flow. I think it's fantastic. I have been dosing the tank now. Uh, I've used this stuff, which I think is the best stuff on the market for me. Um, it actually gives the filter what it needs. You know, I'm going to show you what the filter looks like in a tank as well. I mean, look at that. All the whole, all the surface is being moved which is what you need for gas exchange. You don't need air bubbles, you need surface agitation, which obviously you're getting from that. Um, here we go, oh, just gotta get down. Uh, does it look aesthetically pleasing? What internal filter does, you know. Also, these guys are, in my opinion, the best heater on the market at the moment. Fully digital, fully easy to set up with one button. Um, Aquiel, I think they're called Aqua EL Platinums. Um, the actual temperature is absolutely spot on. I've set this for, I think I've set this tank for 26. So let me just check. Let me get a thermostat. Oh, we'll dunk that in there and we'll have a look in a second because obviously it needs to go up. Yeah, so everything's working well on the tank as you can see. Um, I do put the uh, almond leaves in there or Indian almond leaves. We've got an Anubis that I've wrapped around the plastic plant that's on that. That was 16 quid. Do I think it's worth it? No, I don't. It does look quite real, but you know, you've got to test this stuff out, haven't you? Um, I believe that plant is doing quite well. It's started trying to put roots down, as you can see. So the swords do, they do something called melting, um, which we did have. Um, all plants. You know, it can take two weeks to, to adjust to their new environment. So I do put fertilizers in there and I have put root tabs in there. Um, I've had a mess about the substrate as well just to make sure that it's clean. And But we're going to leave that now. This tank's going to be left for a while. We're going to top it up. We did have a, a strange thing. Oh, I've got an aqua sky coming for this tank, guys. Going to see how that fits on there. Um, pretty sure it would make a, a big difference to the tank. The light, even though this light is bright, doesn't mean to say it's the right type of light so you've got to make sure if you're going to do live plants you need a good light for that it's 80 quid um, but the good thing about it, it has a function where you can time it from your mobile phone or uh, indeed other devices that can control Bluetooth so that's how we're looking at the moment I believe that that is probably I mean that they're expensive yes do I like them internally I'm not a fan, but, you know, I've done external canisters for a long time, so I want to try something different, especially for you guys to help you out. I mean, not everyone has that. Right, that heat is set at 26, and here is what it is, 26.4. This is the most accurate one I found. It came from a fridge, um, and I did test it with other ones to make sure it was okay. So there you have it. Everything's going well. We do have diatoms. You can see the brown stuff. That's a positive, that means something's happening in the tank chemistry. So that's good. Um, but this is what I wanted to speak to you about as well. This, for the sake of 10 pounds, everyone should have one. It's got a nice long cord, as you can see, huge cord. Put it anywhere. Uh, it does come with a pipe, so you can actually aerate, I wouldn't bother. A little bit of you know it is a little bit awkward to get in and out the suckers are a bit rubbish but then again for 10 pounds you could buy one one every six months it wouldn't be a problem would it so i mean it's not a lot to say about it this does move up and down but not very well to be honest um but it skims it does the job when i tested it on the tank the other day that's why it's damp it actually took a little bit longer than the eheim version even though the flow rate's the same which is 300 um liters per hour so I kind of didn't understand why that was. Um, I do believe as well that you could probably you could probably have two of these in a tank and you wouldn't really notice them that much, maybe one in each corner at the back. 
But anyway, there you go, guys. Just thought I'd let you give you the heads up what's going on so far. Um, I will be doing one on the other tank in a moment, so stay tuned for that. Cheers, guys. Take care.